What's going on, guys? Real quick, as if many of you seen yesterday, Gal King was trending on Twitter. I'm gonna put this video um uh, up a little bit later, and that's because she asked Leslie. I forgot her name. She's a WNBA, a wonderful WNBA uh, basketball player. She asked him a question about Kobe Bryant. Now, as you know, Kobe Bryant died on the 26th you know, January, sadly. Just terrible month, man. Him and his daughter and all the other nine, uh, eight, seven victims, sorry. The Alto Belly, the Mauser, and, you know, all of them. I, I mean, we it's sad because they're not celebrities, so we didn't know them like that. So she was interviewing them. It's like, why are you constantly, her and get Oprah constantly go after black men, black men, black men. They won't attack, um any Harvey Weinstein or anything like that. They won't be featured on the documentary of theirs or even be a producer or anything like that. They just want to go after black men, black men, black men. Now, I really think something happened. Well, we know Oprah said he she was a sexually assaulted when she was young. That could be why. Gail, something, either she just carry on the same agenda as Oprah or maybe something really happened to her too. So, why can't they... um? go after white men i believe it's because their bread is buttered by them even though uh oprah when she was starting out it was mostly black people watching her on tv in chicago but you know now she's big now she don't need us anymore she's worth billions so this is her response to the interview it's gonna be a long video but please share please share i've been up reading the comments about the interview i did with lisa leslie about kobe bryant and I know that if I had only Lisa Leslie, that's her name, the WNBA player, seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview, um, totally taken out of context and when you see it that way it's very jarring it's jarring to me i didn't even know anything about it i started getting calls what the hell are you doing why did you say this what is happening i did not know what people are talking about so i've been told or i've been advised to say nothing just let it go people will drag you people will troll you it'll be over in a couple of days but that's not good enough for me because i really want people to understand what happened here and and how i'm feeling about it i reached out to lisa because i know that she's a longtime friend of kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship we had a really wide-ranging interview talked about many things his career his passion his sense of humor the way he was mentoring other people how he was starting his next chapter it was wide ranging and yes we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up and i wanted to get lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well what she thought where that should stand and i thought she it was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off during the course of the interview, I asked follow-up questions because I wanted to make sure that her position and perspective were very clear. All right, that was part one. This is part two. I, as I said, I thought that was very clear. And at the end, when she said, it's time for to leave it alone, I, as I said, I thought that was powerful. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. Um, when the interview aired, we got a great reaction to it. Um, I talked to Lisa last night. I believe that Lisa was okay with the interview. And I felt really good about the interview. Really good about the interview. So for the network to take the most uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me and that's something i'm going to have to deal with with them uh and we will there will be a very uh intense discussion about that i also want to say this i have um been with kobe bryant on many social occasions uh, he was very kind and very warm to me 
and I felt that we had a friendly relationship. I, too, am mourning his loss, just like everybody else. I still am shocked by it. It's tragic and untimely, and the last thing I would want to do is disparage him at this particular time. And I, I, I hope people understand that. And that's why I'm taking this time to speak to you directly. I've never done one of these before. I didn't even... I, I've never done one of these before, but this was so important to me that I felt I had to say something. I don't want to sit up on a set and read a prepared remark. Uh, I wanted you to hear exactly where I'm coming from and how I'm feeling. And to let everybody know that no disrespect intended. And now I've got to go to work. Uh, I thank you. That's it. 